You know, when you're with someone, when you're married with them or you're with them in a long committed relationship, most of the time you are 100% there for them and they are 100% there for you. But as a clinical practitioner, I see the opposite in my office. I see couples who have grown into adversaries the worst enemies of all. And it's a worst enemy because they live together. And even if they say that they're there for their partner, that they're good friends, they're really not. Their actions are completely different. So what happens or how do you know when your partner has become your enemy? It's a very simple question I ask in my practice. Are you there for your partner? When I ask couples this, if there's disagreement or confusion, then I know right away one of them is holding back. Something's going on because it's a very simple question, right? There's two reasons people aren't there or turn away from being there for their partner. And the first of these is their spouse has never been there for them. Like they have been the, the worker bee or they've been the one that took care of everything but they never got the comfort of having that feeling, that support of having that partner there for them. The second way that it can be obsequious or that it looks one way, but it's not, is when both partners mouth, yeah, I'm there and yeah, I'm there for him or her, but their actions don't align and so they're not. So I want to use this video to help you. This is a very important video because the questions I'm going to ask you to ask yourself are not only adding to your self-awareness and what you may be doing as a partner, but under every other malady that happens between couples in my office, there is usually this simple question. Am I really there for my partner? Am I 100% behind them? So as I ask these questions and then you ask yourself, I want you to bring your partner in and share this. I want you guys to talk about it together. First of all, do you want your spouse's success even more than they do? Can you celebrate their wins without any semblance of jealousy on your part, even a feeling? Does it bring you even more joy when someone compliments them even more than what you get or what they may say about you? Do you have to hold back bragging about your spouse to others because you already speak so highly of them? Do you regularly watch out for them, trying to compensate for their weakness without anyone or themselves noticing? Do you ask them on a daily basis, what's one thing I can take off your plate? You see, the reason this is so important is when couples come in and they're hurting, they want to tell me what their partner's not doing. So this is kind of a sit back and reflect moment. I want you to reflect on what you're doing. Are you really there for your partner? Are you your partner's BFF? Make sure you know the answer to that before you turn to your partner and accuse them of not doing that.